Father is recovering after defending his daughter. Police say five Illyria teens stabbed him after one of them was involved in a breakup with the girl. Nick Foley just talked with that man, and Nick, this was just a brutal attack. Yeah, Lee, police say the incident took place late Saturday night, and now those five teens that were involved are being held at the Lorraine County Juvenile Detention Home. Now, the man tells me today that he still is shaking about this incident, but he's very thankful that his friends and family were nearby to help him. They got me in the ear, they kicked me in my neck, and then they got me in the carotid artery. They just missed my carotid artery. Cassius Johnson described an attack that resulted in bruises and 11 stab wounds all over his body. He also told me the incident happened when he confronted his daughter's ex-boyfriend and at least four other teens that had gathered around his car. I just started seeing a bunch of flashes. That's when they were kicking me and punching me. And then I felt my shirt was wet. And that's when I had went down and fell down. That's when they just, they just totally started kicking me and beating the hell out of me. Captain Chris Constantino explained the assault was nothing short of a vicious attack, with the five teens now facing attempted murder charges. This kind of conduct will not be tolerated. And if uh, they see fit to try any of these uh, individuals, these juveniles as adults, then, then uh, we're certainly receptive to that. Rodney Treadwell found his friend bleeding in the street and treated his injuries before paramedics arrived. The boyfriend uh, didn't, didn't agree with the breakup or whatever and was retaliating against, chose to retaliate against her father. For no reason. Johnson admitted to me he should have called police before going outside and believes he is lucky to be alive. And like I said, the grace of God just, just stopped the knife from piercing any of my vital organs because that was close, real close. Uh, Constantino adds that his officers and investigators were scheduled to meet with prosecutors today to discuss this case. No word on when the decision on whether to try these teens as adults will be made. Reporting in Elyria, Nick Foley for News Channel 5.